It's time for another mail opening, but which one should we start with? Uh, I think that one's starting itself. Oh, Cheyenne, you weren't supposed to come out yet. Well, let's open mail. <laughs> Before we begin, I'd like to thank Audible for sponsoring yet another one of our videos. With everything going on in the world right now, I'm finding myself struggling to fall asleep. My mind keeps racing with things like, what do we have to do next at the facility? When will I get to start up programs again? And if oranges are called oranges, why aren't limes called greens? That's why I started listening to the audiobook Bedtime Stories for Adults. These stories are actually written for adults to help them sleep. They involve mythical creatures, which I think is really cool, but I have yet to make it to the end of one because... I fall asleep. Which is good! Now I don't stay up wondering, if you're cleaning a vacuum, does that make you the vacuum cleaner? Anyway, Audible has thousands of listening options like podcasts, audiobooks, wellness, health, and more. And with their newest plan, Audible Plus, you can listen to an unlimited amount of them. To get their brand new holiday special, just go to audible.com slash snake discovery or text snake discovery to 500, 500 and you'll get Audible Plus for just $4.95 a month for six months. After that, its normal price is just $7.95 a month. If you don't like the audiobook, you chose to download, just download another, and another, and maybe five more. It's unlimited. You can even download them to listen to later. Again, just go to audible.com slash snake discovery or text snake discovery to 500, 500 to get your hands on Audible Plus for their brand new holiday rate. Thanks again for sponsoring today's video, Audible, and let's start opening some fan mail. It's been a while since we opened mail last because we went to Texas and now our enclosures are getting built at the facility and we've been insanely busy. This will be the quickest turnaround between filming, which is tonight, tonight's a Monday, and the video will hopefully get posted on this Sunday. So Charles, hopefully he can, uh, hopefully he can pull out his like super epic editing skills, editing powers. I was thinking like Charles, the super editing hero, can put this together in time for us. So, <laughs> so thank you in advance, Charles. Um, we have a lot to catch up with. What are we in July? Yes, we are opening July packages today. So we're now getting Maybe some to June. about five months behind. Yeah, yeah, we have to catch up. Aw, Lily sent us a beautiful watercolor card, and she is over in England. And she even said, ooh, dark milk giant buttons? Well, I've never heard of those. That looks delicious. I can't wait to try that. Oh, oh, whoa. Marmite? Oh, no. Oh, no. Didn't we try Vegemite most yes. recently? Mm, not bad. Oh, no. Hmm. Not as bad as... Oh, weird. <laughs> not as bad as I thought, but it does evolve. Oh. I think I'm gonna instead try one of these uh, chocolate buttons. Chocolate discs! Chocolate mm. buttons. Mmm, very good. Thank you, Lily. Okay, so Emily likes the chocolate over the... Marmite. A little bit, I suppose. So Phoebe sent you two pounds. Oh, thanks, Phoebe. Uh, she also wants to know, is it hard or easy to look after reptiles? Reptiles are a lot easier than other pets. I'll definitely admit to that. Birds are more tough than... Especially compared to that right there. Yeah, for sure. So yeah, I'd say reptiles are pretty easy to take care of. All right. Get a snake. Peyton sent a sticker portrait of Cheyenne. How wow. cool is that? Look at you! They also sent chocolate and some flowery seeds. Thanks, Phoebe and Peyton. Whoa, cool. Ollie sent us these 3D printed snakes. That is awesome. Thanks, Ollie. Aw, and Kennedy has sent us some bird toys for Cheyenne from her Etsy shop, KB Pet Shop, if you guys want to check it out. Let's see if Cheyenne likes it. Cheyenne, look. Look, this is from Kennedy. What do you think? Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Good job. She loves. Oh, well, there it goes. Thanks, Kennedy. Violet and her family from Nova Scotia, Canada, Ooh. searched and searched for Canadian chocolate and chips. It, it popped, but I think it popped when I tossed the thing up upstairs because they're still uh, they're not stale. Ketchup chips are, chips are a huge thing in Canada. Are they really? Yeah. Macintosh creamy toffee, Big Turk, O. Henry, uh, a Mars bar. Heard of that one, a, a yep. Canadian Mars bar, Cherry Blossom, Crunchy Crisp, and a oh Wonder Bar. Oh my gosh. So, Whoa. she requested that we try the ketchup chips and the crispy crunch. Okay, we can do that. But I think we should try like one more too. That thing, the jelly cherry thing. Cherry Blossom? Yeah, Cherry okay. Blossom. There you go, give that a shot. Emily does not like ketchup, <laughs> by the way. People are gonna think I'm a picky eater. After this episode, they are very ketchupy. They are. It tastes just like ketchup. What so, can I say? Yes or no on the ketchup chips? Better than actual ketchup. 
Cherry blossom time. Okay, cherry blossom. You can't have it. I'm sorry. It's chocolate. Oh my gosh, this thing is huge. It is really big. Whoa, there is a jelly filling. That's not bad. Mm hmm. Yeah, that's a good combination. It's a lot bigger than the ones we have in the States. Mm -hmm. Okay, we'll right. try one more. We'll finish and then this the later. Crispy Crunch. Crispy Crunch. That's the one she requested we try on camera as now well. It looks like a Butterfinger. Kind of does. Very similar to a Butterfinger. To, really? Yeah. It's just a Butterfinger that goes A after you eat it. That's good. That's that like, is. Oh, that wow. is really good. That's my favorite one. Violet and family. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Ooh, what could Lola have sent? Ooh, those are fun colors. In this package, I have put in some stickers, bags, pom-poms, and a couple more things. What is your favorite snake? My favorite snake in our collection? Ooh, probably Charlotte, our albino hogna snake. She is one of my favorites for sure. Oh, you sent us chocolate? Oh, wow. Well, you did send bags of goodies for each of us. Oh, with your favorite snake on a pin. This is so cute. Thank you, Lola. Hannah from Australia sent us giant artwork. Oh my gosh, Hannah. Is that Rex? This one's Rex. Oh, she's in her pool. Mm -hmm. Whoa. She also sent us a penguin. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> or in South Park, penguin. <laughs> Thank you, Hannah. Wow, that came all the way from Australia. All the way from Australia. Holy cow, you did an excellent job on those. I love all the snakes. So Noelle sent us her favorite snake, Doug. I don't know if that's exactly Ooh. what Doug looks like. But Doug's a cobra. He's that's a awesome. cobra now. Aww. She also sent us giant Pokemon card. Oh, really? Um, is it Eevee? Nope. No? Is it Pikachu? Nope. Get one more guess. Umbreon. Whoa. All three legendary dogs. They have a card with all three of the dogs? I guess. I didn't know this was a thing. I did not either. But That's I like amazing. the I like the name of their move. Be legendary. Be legendary. Yeah. Thank you, Noel. Okay, you have to see what Caden sent us. Okay. This is this is crazy. That's a lot of Pokemon cards. No no, just, just stuff cards? Just stuff the envelope full of holographic cards. I can't hold them all at once. Look, there's Celebi. Kaden, you're too that nice. Cool. You didn't have to send us all of these. I'm gonna have to go through them all. These are amazing. That was really nice of you. Thank yeah. you, Kaden. So our number one fan, Kyren, sent you a bunch of miniature Pokemon. Oh my gosh, the minis! They also sent <laughs> you a mermaid pen. Ooh, I could have this out of my office or in my on my desk. Holy and there's cow! Dove. Oh my gosh! And there's Hershey's. Uh, and there's Kyren. Hershey's. Oh my gosh! And there's <laughs> This much when I was trick or treating. Yeah, could you imagine child? each house giving you that? Oh, the pillowcase would fill up so fast. You'd only have to go up for like like an hour. Yeah. Oh, Kyra, thank you. Madeline from California sent a beautiful portrait of Cheyenne. Aww. Look, Cheyenne, look, look at it's you. you. Aww, that's adorable. She also sent five dollars for Rex Fish wow. Funds. Oh, yeah. we will find a box for this episode's Rex Fish Funds box. And she also sent a picture of her dog and one of Ooh. Nibbles, who I think is a guinea pig. That's an awesome guinea pig That's name. such a cute name. Also, she said she knows so much about us. She said chocolate too. A little bit for everyone. Thank you, Madeline. I have a package that was sent in a fruit snacks box. This is from Lilani and Marigold. And they're wondering what uh, species of garter snake would you suggest for a beginner? I would say either a plains or a common or eastern. Yeah. Um, yeah. Or Maybe red-sided. Yeah, the red side. Yeah, red sided would be well, like California red sided. No, just yeah. red sided. Yeah, just plain red sided. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that would be a good one. Yeah, any eastern you can find or plains, that would be a great one to start with. Before it's easy to tell what it is. Oh, this has to. Now I know what this is. This has to do with Ma uh, Marigold's question, which is what species of snake was in our old logo, and it kind of oh. looked like this. She did a good job drawing yeah. the logo, and honestly. It was just a, a green snake. I'm gonna say it was a, uh, yeah, just a green, green snake. Green snake, yeah, that is actually a species of snake, is the green <laughs> snake. I think that's what we went with with our old logo, because yep. they're native here, and probably the brightest colored native in the area. And her mom also made, for us, masks. Oh, cool. And they look oh, that's a lot of masks. This is a ton. She said they were varying sizes, reptile-themed masks. Yeah. Oh my gosh. COVID made Ed realize he has a big head. <laughs> yes. Like masks that don't fit Emily or like fit Emily well ah! don't fit Ed. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh, she even did this style too. Oh, that's cool. Oh, thank you so much. You and Marigold for the for the wonderful gifts. 
We're totally going to get you some of these. Mm -hmm. I have something from Rebecca. She sent a dollar for Rex, apparently. Oh, thanks, Rebecca. And a bunch of her Pokemon cards she used to collect. Aww. She no longer collects them. Oh my gosh. So here's the dollar Aww. for Rex. That's really nice of you. And she sent a giant Kangaskhan oh, for you. Nice. And I get a giant Charizard. Ooh. Yeah, look at that. Holy cow, it's the one from Detective Pikachu. Yeah, so oh my gosh, thank you, Rebecca. This could be the Rex Fish Fund. Oh, there we go. There we go. We'll leave her cards in it too. Yep. The, from this episode, we'll put in here. This will be the Rex the Rex bin. We still have to go and get toys for Rex. We wanted to bring all of the Rex Fish Funds and Cheyenne and Doug Food Funds. Can't say Fish Funds for them. Uh, we wanted to bring that out and get stuff for them. But because of COVID, we're like, well, it's not like a necessary trip we have to make. Yep. So we, even though it was going to be for the 2 million kind of special video, we're kind of just putting it on hold until COVID isn't as big of an issue as it is right now. So yeah. that is coming. I guess we'll just have more to spend on our critters when exactly. that day finally comes. And Ed's hair will officially be green and blue with maybe some yellow to match yep. Cheyenne's color. You guys voted yep. and Cheyenne's colors won. So we But are... we hear that it's like a couple month procedure since I have such dark hair. Yeah, so we so... have to bleach his hair first or our friend Nick is going to bleach his hair and then dye it. So it might be a couple of months because his hair is so dark. Yep. Um, since Nick's got dark hair too, I think he said he was doing the second most voted for one. Yeah, so our friend Nick, In the, solidation, the, the solidarity. weird goat guy, yep, he's going to do the second most popular. Vote. There you go. Watch as my hair gets lighter and lighter and then blue and yellow and green. Oh, it's gonna be awesome. Madeline from Arizona made us a Green Bay Packers themed hot pad holder. Nice. Pan I can holder. put my my buffalo wings and stuff on it while I'm watching the game. Yes, Ed's really into football this year. Well, the Packers are winning. No, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. I watch them every year. Uh -huh. <laughs> He's a loyal fan. I am. Ava sent us some cool things. She made snakes, or her favorite TV show and movie people, into snakes, like Eliza from Hamilton into an egg eater. She also drew you an Umbreon, a oh. derpy Umbreon. Oh my gosh, I love it. <laughs> she made you a snake. Cool, Ava. Ah. Oh. Thank oh gosh, Cheyenne, are you scared of it? Oh, it's a scary snake for Cheyenne. And then a Kit Kat and Arabic coffee. Whoa! Yeah, coffee is Great. Arabic coffee. Arabic so. coffee. Thank you, Ava. Oh, that's so nice of you to send all of these. Yeah, if it wasn't so late, we'd probably go make some, but it it's is like... like Nine. Nine. <laughs> yeah. I will have this tomorrow with breakfast for sure since it's a little late the right Kit now. Cat. Anna sent such a cute little frog figure of me and I love it. Anna also is wondering what is your favorite animal and favorite animal you own? We did get to that one. Well, actually, I haven't asked Ed. Ed, what's your favorite animal that we own? PJ or Leechy? PJ or Larry. Those are cool. Yeah, they're pretty cool too. What's your favorite animal overall? Badoof. Badoof. <laughs> I have a package from Scotland. Whoa. From Emma. She is a very talented sketcher here. Look at that dragon. Oh, that's cool. And what a green tree. Yeah, and a horse. And a horsey. That's beautiful. And she also has guinea pigs. Awesome. It's the night of the guinea pigs. <laughs> Don't guinea pigs run in herds? They do. I want to see a herd. I want to see a herd of guinea pigs so yes, badly. Absolutely. <laughs> where, do they, where are they native to? We can make a video about that. Like, I think it's South America, isn't it? Okay, no, Google. I think the capybara, I think. Where are guinea pigs native to? South America. Yeah. Oh, you're right. Oh. So they're South American. Okay, so I guess we have to go to South America. We can find... go find boas and, and Amazon tree boas macaws. and macaws, macaws and find a herd of guinea pigs. That would be a dream come true. I would love to see that. <laughs> she also sent us, um, first off, chocolate and Ooh. a very, very sweet note here. And a snake that she painted. It's adorable. Nice. Oh, it's Nick. Yeah, isn't it sweet? Aww. She also sent something called a Scottish tablet. It says rich butter tablet. Do you I think say it's... eat it, even if it's not food. Just Let's try it. it. Yeah. That's pretty That's good. really rich. It is very rich. That's why I took a little bite. <laughs> Are you regretting that huge bite? I've never heard of it before, but that's delicious. Thank you, mm -hmm. Emma, for all the gifts. Eat it in a little amount. <laughs> so I know we generally save artwork for the end and even sculptures because we get so much of it nowadays, but Serena sent this little guy over and it is adorable. Oh, is that a snake with a clutch of eggs? Yep, oh my it's gosh, a, hog nose. a baby coming out of one. Oh my gosh, Serena, that is freaking adorable. That will definitely have to go up on our display board. 
back Display there. Shelf. Display shelf. Yes. We have so much from this episode to put on there already. There we go. Thank you, Serena. Aww. Haley sent us some really cute drawings. I love this one of Rex. Aww. And there's one to Ed of a snake. And they sent a stick of fudge from Cadbury. I didn't even know they made this. Thank you so much, Kaylee. Hopefully I got your name right. I just got this box from Caden and their grandma, Sure Sure. Okay. They said, my grandma and myself have spent three months trying to think of something special for you that you have never got. Aww. We hope you love it. Thanks for the YouTube channel. Whoa. It's like wooden spoons and utensils Whoa. that were all engraved. Oh my gosh, with our animals on it! Yeah. What? That's a Rex spoon! Life is short, lick the spoon. Oh, they all have like sayings on yep. them! Oh my gosh. Oh, we got Cheyenne. Oh, and there's a Cheyenne! And then Peanut and Brad. That is so cool. So a bunch of like wooden or like utensils. We also I broke my wooden spoon recently, or Emily's wooden spoon, and she <laughs> hasn't let me forget it. Yeah, I like so that wooden spoon. We have replacements now. Wow, they also that is sent so cool. Dish rags. Oh, nice. That you hang like from that. Oh yeah. And they're snake themed. Hot pads. Oh no way! <laughs> we have so many fun things in this pattern now. That's what timing, awesome. guys? So and many here. kitchen goodies. Here you go. You can have your wooden spoon back that you won't let me forget. Thank that you. should more than make up for it. Don't break these now. <laughs> Thank you, Caden and Shersher. I did not know we had so many viewers who owned guinea pigs. Ella also has no a guinea way. pig named Sweetie, and she said on the note, here is a picture of her. I unfortunately cannot find a picture of her guinea pig Sweetie in the box, but that would have been so that cool. That would have been amazing. We're on four guinea pigs and what... No guinea pigs until this episode. I know! Yeah. Four. Isn't that great? <laughs> Ella, thank you, by the way, for the reptile decor. It even has suction cups. Cool. We'll totally use this. Thank you. So, do you remember uh, Lily Baker? 13 years old, and she sent us a ball, a piebald ball python on a light blue background. Ah, uh, yes, I do remember that. We yeah. still have that. She sent us two more. Oh. That was amazing. Oh my gosh. Cheyenne with her bib is adorable, first off. And look at the details in the eye. Whoa, I'm going to have to put that with her uh, ball python painting, yeah. too. She said uh, she recently got her very first snake. She wanted It's a normal ball python. She wanted a piebald, but she still loves him. His name is Copper, Aww. and she got most of her knowledge from our channel. So most of the family, when she first got it, uh. thought they were super gross, and her dad even thought they stank. <laughs> now all seven of the family members ask me all the time if I can hold them. I can't wait until your building is up and running. Aww. And she'll be one of the first people there. I can't wait to meet her. So, with all that said, she does have some questions. How can I make a snake not head shy? That is a you good have question. A bunch of ball pythons there. What's going on? <laughs> so, um, announcements. This is Martha in the middle. I figured she'd be good for this. But also, fresh out of quarantine, are a pair of adult piebald ball pythons, which we have now, and you guys are the first ones to know if you watch our fan mail opening videos. We haven't had them in any videos yet. She's in shed, so she's not super bright, but they're beautiful snakes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Name suggestions, anybody have any names for these two? Yeah, we're thinking like, or Nick Nick suggested like pies, different types of pies, like apple pie, french lip pie, because they're pies, yep. just an idea. But head shy means that a snake is pretty like, uh, reactive to having its head or near its head touched and with ball pythons they kind of recoil into themselves so to kind of desensitize a snake to being head shy I just recommend handling them more basically and just start taking your thumb and start touching closer and closer to their head and eventually over over some time and it takes some patience they will become used to it and they won't be as reactive when you touch them yeah, eventually they should get to this point where you can just touch their head and touch around their neck and all around and they just don't care because they're so used to it. So basically just start touching closer and closer and closer to their head and over time they shouldn't be head shy. She also wants to know uh, some jokes she sent jokes with, which is Ooh, awesome because... Jokes? Yeah, I use reptile these jokes. What reptile solves crimes? An investigator? You got it! Yes! Yeah! <laughs> Why do reptiles have so many scales? I don't know. Because they're paranoid about their weight. Oh, scales! Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I like it. Nice. All right, I'm gonna put uh -huh. these guys back. Now that they're put away, Lily also sent Cheyenne treats. Oh, Lily! Take one gracefully. Mmm. <laughs> there you 
Here you go. Awesome. Thank you, Lily and Keegan. Benny made a Pokemon card out of us. My move is hard boiled egg. <laughs> Yeah, I'm still terrible at making them, but not so much anymore because of that cool thing someone sent. Thank you, Benny. He, he also sent, oh my gosh, a holographic Charizard. That's a really cool design. Oh my gosh, GX card too. It's all textured. Oh, and an alligator. Benny also sent, oh my gosh. Oh, there's some in sleeves even too. Whoa. That's a sweet Charizard. Whoa, yeah, we have Charmeleon, Charmander, Charizard. Thank you so much for all these gifts, Benny. Keeper from California sent us some cool artwork. Whoa, that's really and pretty. Some cool I like clay that. figurines. Cheyenne and Rex and a green tree. Oh my gosh, those are adorable. And she also sent you this box. Whew, smelled good. Oh, good, okay. But I learned it was soap from her mom's company. Sierra Sunrise Soaps. Oh, wow. That's... Here, but I'll... smell them. Oh, they smell good. You can't eat it, this one, This one's lavender. Oh, really? Oh, I love What's lavender. What's that one? Oh, my gosh. The lavender one smells really good, too. I wonder if that'd be good, like, for before you go to bed showers, you know? Go check out Sierra Sunrise Soaps. These smell amazing. I can't wait to use this. Go support some small businesses. Thank you, Kiefer and Kiefer's mom for all the gifts. This is from Joseph. He sent $3 for Rex Fish Funds, which we're gonna put in awesome. our, this week's box of Rex the Fish Funds. sweet fun. Pokemon lunchbox thing that's gonna be Ed's new lunchbox for when he works at the facility. No, we didn't tell him that. The day this video comes out, Ed yep. will be done with US Bank. Yep, I will be officially a Snake Discovery full-time employee. Yeah. Isn't that awesome, guys? Yeah. Thanks to you and your support, which we'll get into all this later. I meant to say it later, not right now, but thank you. Thank you for yeah. giving us this opportunity. Uh, Joseph, before I forget, also sent some almonds for Cheyenne, and these aren't salted either. Oh, perfect. Cheyenne, this is a treat from Joseph. Here you go. Mm. Yay! Gonna use my handy dandy. Uh, the plate. The plate. Yeah. Also sent two chocolate bars. Two Emily treats. Yeah, it says here's some dark chocolate. One for Ed and one for, I mean, both are for Emily. It actually, it actually says, Joseph says, Emily, don't eat both chocolate bars. Yeah. Can't Emily, tell me what to do, Joseph. Emily, you already said give one to Ed. Just because Joseph said so. Thank you, Joseph. Lacey sent us some cool stuff in this box but first she wants to know what is your favorite retic morph oh retic morph probably mm -hmm. lavender albinos really you wouldn't go cow oh those are pretty too no i like the yellows of the albinos all right and then she says ed what is your favorite normal snake normal snake what are normal snakes colubrid um, wild type stuff i bet not a morph like oh, a normal okay. morph wild type Tiger, tiger rattlesnakes. Oh yeah, those yeah. are pretty. Those mm -hmm. are sweet looking. Those and are beautiful. And then she also sent an amazing picture of Cheyenne. Let's just get her in the background over there. She looks the same. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she does. <laughs> Speaking of Cheyenne, do you think she would eat another treat? They do have like salt, sugar, onion powder and stuff. So I might not be able to give these to Cheyenne, but that means- Emily gets to eat them. They're Emily treats. She also gave you a shiny Rowlet. Oh, cute. That's adorable. And she gave me a Charizard GX card. Oh. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Snake plush. Oh, oh that's cute. A really long snake plush. Ugh. Wow, that's actually like a realistic colored one, too. Yeah. Aw, thank you, Lacey. Thank you. I have from Chloe, which, same name as our snapping turtle. That's pretty cool. Yeah. She sends a lot of goodies, actually. And the one that she wanted to point out was a Target gift oh, card. Geez. Holy cow, Chloe, you didn't have to do that. That's really nice. She said, uh, I've sent a gift card for the animals and for you to get chocolate and coffee. Awesome. Chloe, that is really nice of you. Holy cow. Maybe we'll have to add Target to our stops when we go out shopping for the animals. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Okay, so we'll bring this with us too. And I'm we'll glad get, it says from Chloe. So. We'll get Emily treats at Target. Oh, there we go. Perfect. So your card will be part of that video. I'll put it in this, in this tote for now. Thank you so much. Thank you, Chloe. Sarah is in her last year of college. Congrats, Whoa. almost there. Uh, what, did she draw she, that? Yeah, she drew that, and she drew that, which is an amazing. Oh my gosh. I don't know exactly what she's going to school for, but she designed those. I hope it's art. But wow. she's, she's really talented. Yeah. And she wants to know, she loves Loki. Is he doing all right? Ooh, Loki, our uh, black-tailed Freebo? I am guessing so. He's doing great. He's huge. We may or may not have built him a seven by four foot enclosure at the nice. facility. 
Yeah, he's getting he's getting something big. She also sent a couple things that she's designing. First oh, off, what really? Stickers. Oh my gosh! Oh, I love these. And this. Hissy before coffee? No way! That is awesome. Oh my gosh, Sarah! <sighs> I need to put this on right now. Look at that. Nice. That is so cool. That is awesome. It's really comfy too, actually. <laughs> oh wow, she's sending Pokemon cards too. Oh, oh really? Sarah! Yeah, like, oh, Japanese Pokemon cards too. Look at all those cards! Wow. <laughs> yeah. Wow, awesome. Sarah, you're yeah. so nice. Thank you. Sarah, send us an email. We might commission you for something. I would love to, yeah. Work uh, with you on some things. Ooh, that's true. Email me, Sarah. Sales at snakediscovery.com. Savannah, you shouldn't have. She said $15 for the reptiles. Wow. I know. And she actually, she, this is the, like the original. It isn't a print at all. She painted this beautiful sunset. Oh my gosh. Savannah, you are so nice. Thank you. You didn't have to do this. Okay, I'll put that in here. It'll go to our reptiles. Guys, you don't have to send us money. You guys don't have to do that, but I promise what we do get will go to the reptiles. I just feel bad receiving money in the mail, but thank you. This is an adorable note from Jane, so I'm not sure if I have time to read the whole thing on camera, but I'll kind of hold it out here so you guys can see it. My mom said I could have a snake when I move out. I am 10 years, so in about eight years. My mom also said I would already have a snake if she wasn't so afraid of them. I told her, Mom, don't be scared. They, they only bite when they're hungry, unless they are a sassy bull snake. And then she said, yeah, no. The closest I have to a pet snake is a stuffed one. Well, I mean, Jane, those are the easiest ones to take care of. They don't poop, and you don't have to feed them. So stuffed ones aren't a bad thing for in the meantime before you can get one. She also was nice enough to send $10. But the, the cute thing is this is to spend money on a new slash bigger rex fund box you are so thoughtful jane oh my gosh this is adorable and 50 cents off a mini blizzard i can go get my favorite blizzard the oreo mocha thank you jane so marley sent us some cool pictures and some pokemon cards and she has a couple questions i don't think we've ever talked about it but she wants to know how the two-headed snake is doing mm. I don't know if we have mentioned it in a video. Yeah. I made a community post. The, the double-headed garter snake baby we had wasn't able to eat. And he started losing weight. And if it's a baby garter snake with how tiny they are, if they start losing weight, that, that's serious for them. So we decided to euthanize him so that he wouldn't suffer and starve to death. Yep. So it was a tough decision, but we feel it was the right one. And as cool as he was, it was too bad that he didn't make it. She also wants to know what we do with all the Pokemon cards. All the Pokemon cards? They are actually all stacked up next to my work computer so I can look at them every day because I am lame like that. <laughs> we have to figure out something to do with them. They're all like literally right next to my editing computer. She also wants to know how Spidey's doing. Spidey? Spidey, our, my parents' cat. You remember Spidey from that video a long time ago? What is that? Feeding all our animals? Well, how is Spidey doing? Spidey's doing great. He's in Florida now with he my parents. He lives in Florida, not Wisconsin anymore. So he gets to go out on their lanai and he just, he owns the lanai. He lays around in the sun all day and he is happy. She also sent us, oh, I should say sent me, these Haribo oh. twin snakes. Oh, no. those are... Oh. No, she didn't say specifically they were mine. I mean, I, I can sense through the letter I read that can she wanted you? all these gummies to go to me. I'm sure you know? she did. Emily, you get all the questions. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Thank you, Marley. Thank you, Marley. Isabella sent us a cute picture of her red-eared slider. Awesome. He's in a 120-gallon tank, so he's Whoa. doing great. Nice. She sent us a couple mugs with really? bees on them. Oh, for yeah, it oh works really gosh. easy when our names start with the same letter. Yeah, that's so we, super so cute. We each got one of those. <gasps> Sent Rex a dog toy. Whoa, yeah, that actually that's... might work for her. As long as she doesn't eat it. I don't think she would because she has a rope toy and a rubber toy. That's true. Okay, so Isabella, we'll save this for when Rex goes into her new enclosure at the facility. Then she'll have a new toy to play with. She didn't mention this, but she sent you a wad of ones. <laughs> oh my gosh. Woo, make it rain. And Hershey's. Best chocolate bar ever. Oh, Isabella. Okay, I've got them all. We'll put them in here. We won't make it rain anymore. Thank you, Isabella. I have from Cooper some really cute artwork, including on the back side here, Roboto oh, Cheyenne. Cheyenne got arms. Yeah. Nothing will stop her now. Look at that. It's you so don't cool. get arms, Cheyenne. He also said really pretty sea turtle earrings. They're from Australia. That's awesome. They're just my size. Thank you, Cooper. Maybe I'll have to put one in. 
Last time I saw Emily wear earrings was at the last unboxing or fan mail that we had earrings. Yeah. See, they're still pokeable. They are still pokeable. I'm only going to put in one though because Cheyenne's on this shoulder. Yeah, Cheyenne will yank it out and make it not pokeable anymore. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It'd be too pokeable then. Aw, from the Gabaldon household, Dear Snake Discovery, our family loves your channel. The shows are awesome and you both seem like very nice and good people. Aw, good luck in the zoo. We will go visit when it's open. We play a game every night called Baby Snakes that was made by watching your show. Oh, I wonder how the game goes. That's adorable. Aw, and from Alyssa. I love your vids. Hope we can see Ed more. Aww. Oh my goodness, they send goodies, like snacks in here. That's why the package was squishy. Oh my gosh, I love these. Oh, <gasps> look, now we both have a bag of the gummy snakes. Oh, perfect. I hey. think they actually sent those to me. That has my name on it, actually. Does it really? Yep, turn it around. Oh shoot, no it doesn't. Yes it does. Nope, where's a marker? I nope, need to cross that advice. out. I don't see any name for I Ed. I see a name. Nope, nope, I don't see your name at all. Ooh, Addison sent some really neat art of our reptiles. Aww. I love the caption, so angry. That is such a flat little hog nose snake. Oh wow, look at that green tree python. Aww. Addison, thank you so much for the kind letter and the art and this I got a kick out of too. Wow, a $5 bill that's folded in a little uh, crew neck shirt? A t-shirt, we'll go with t-shirt. That's adorable. I don't think I can spend this, it's too cute. Thank you, Addison. Phoenix made their own Pokemon card, and it's <laughs> Rex breathing fire. A fire breathing Rex would yeah, be so scary. That I wouldn't have Rex if Rex breathed fire. <laughs> I can control Rex right now, but if she shoots fire at me, there's nothing I can do. <laughs> That's epic. So Brittany sent us some cool things, but first her note is talking about how she and her 18 month old son love watching you. When you're on the screen, he comes running in and gets all screamy and excited to see Aww. you uh, when he hears you on. Oh my gosh! Uh, she's gotten back into reptiles after watching the channel. She's got a snow leopard named Jack Frost, a mystic ball python named Athena, a spider Aww. ball python named Zeus, a pinstripe ball python named Miss... Starts with a B, but it's not acceptable. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. It's not a good word. <laughs> <laughs> not a word we can share on the yep. channel? That's so, awesome. Uh, when it comes to MB, uh, she's tried everything to make her nice, but nothing works. How can she make her not as taggy bitey? Uh, our formula for snakes that are acting defensively, we have a video all about it actually that you could watch, um, but our formula is to hold them for 15 minutes once or twice a day for two weeks. And after that, you should see some really good improvement. She also sent you a couple dollars for Aww. the animals. Oh, that was nice of you. A Hershey's Aww. bar for the Emily. Oh my gosh. Oh, you thought of all of us. Ooh, king size. And she drew this sweet comic. Oh, no way. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, wow. That's actually really good artwork. Yeah, it is. Holy cow. I love that. That's like frame worthy. That's so cool. Thank you. And speaking of Cheyenne, she sent Cheyenne a new Bib. <gasps> Should we try it on her? Yes. We have yet to find something that stays on Cheyenne. Besides my socks. Other than the socks. Other than the socks. Here, Cheyenne. Do you want a bib? It's really big. It's so big on you. That's so cute, though. Since it's Velcro, she'll probably take it off. But, but we'll give it a shot. It's really cute while it lasts. Mm -hmm. Just thank you, Brittany and Cairo, for the bib. Before I move on, I don't want to, like... And the comic. Yeah, thank you for all of the gifts. This is freaking good. Adorable. I love it. Yeah, we have to find some place special for that mm -hmm. comic. From Elsa in England, she actually says Wait, she loves- Elsa? Elsa. Does she control ice? I bet she hates Let it jokes snow. about that. Sorry, Elsa, for Ed's ignorance with your name. <laughs> she says, I love birds and Cheyenne is the best behaved bird I've ever seen. Well, at least in the video. She is very quiet. She's very quiet, but she does get into things. Especially she recently. has recently learned how to open up the bins of our snake racks. Yeah. Yeah, thankfully, everything's still been in there and we caught her in time, but we cannot wait to move the reptiles out of her room as a result. Her Senegal parent just flew away from a rooftop in India where they oh, live, wow. and she's looking for advice on how she could um, get it back. Unfortunately, this was sent in July, so I really hope that you have found your Senegal parrot. Senegals are really cool birds. They have really neat robotic voices. But if anyone watching has a... <laughs> she has been trying her hardest to get that she's off. She's trying! So tips to get a lost bird back, you can either leave a cage out like on your back deck or nearby with door open and food inside 
and try to rig something up where you can catch it or you can follow them during the day and at night figure out where they're roosting and birds don't fly at night generally uh, unless they're like a predatory nocturnal species so you can usually just creep up to them at night and literally just pick them up off of a branch because they won't fly away. That would be my best advice is figure out if you can, maybe through word of mouth where it's roosting and then get it at night. I wish you, I hope you got your Senegal bag. Yeah, same here. Whoa, she also sent 10 pounds. You guys have the coolest cash over, over across the pond. That's really cool. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Elsa. From Ava. Her birthday was on August 26th, so by the time you open this, the B day has probably passed. Oh, happy belated it, birthday. It has. She sent you a cute little turtle. Oh, sent you really a cute. needle point candy cane. Oh, wow. That's yeah. really impressive. Nice job on that, Some Ava. Some chocolate. Whoa, chocolate. And a little Thai chameleon. <gasps> She doesn't care. Nope. I care though. This is really cute. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you, Ava. Happy belated birthday. Happy birthday. Sophia sent some questions. First off, she asked, do you guys plan to go to VidCon or did you already... What's VidCon? Uh, it's like YouTube convention. Oh. In California. Oh, that's cool. I don't think we've ever been there and I don't know if we've been invited. I don't know how you get invited to that. But... I don't know. Sounds cool i guess but we have not been there i've not even heard of it what is your favorite video that you made mine is the bioactive build off video is what she said here i kind of like the goldfish video the goldfish yeah that one or uh, never mind scratch that bringing rex to pet smart that was fun too that is my favorite video because it was so cute timing her steps with the music yeah that was a fun one sophia also sent some really cute <laughs> art i love the hog nose with the monocle and the hat. Beautiful, yep. She also sent some really cool stickers for the new rack. Nice. Look at these. I like the cat. Isn't that great? Thank you, Sophia. Well, there was no name in this, but somebody sent you, I think a phone case that'll fit your phone with nearly headless Nick and- What? Probably Janet is who it looks like on the back of it. Will it fit? Is it for an S10? Oh my gosh. How do you know what kind of phone we have? That's a little creepy, but yeah, there's no note in there, so. Whoever you are, Anonymous, thank you. New phone case. Oh. Richard, who is actually a link on Discord, on the Snake Discovery Discord, and he's on the Patreon, so he's like very interactive with us, uh, sent us a whole gift package of goodies here. Uh, because of you guys, I was able to get over 13 years of crippling fear of snakes. Like I was able to hold a python yesterday. Oh, Congrats. That's cool. Nice, Richard. Let's see, here's a challenge. Try pronouncing these Washington towns since he's from Washington. Uh, Kalalach, Wenatchee, Issaquah. Hopefully, Charles can find these in Washington and put the actual spelling yeah. on there. Snoqualmie, Polesby, and Snohomison. I'm sure I pronounced all those correctly. Though. Yeah, perfect. There's all sorts of things in here. Richard, you didn't have to do this. There's. Root beer from, Ooh. okay, that is a Washington root beer. Same with this, Marion Berry Cream. Ooh. We may have to put these in the fridge and like try and maybe next one or something. Yeah. And then there's also turkey dinner, candy corn, and there's, oh my gosh, look at this pin. Oh, fat Charizard. <laughs> oh my God. Go Charizard, go. You eat those carbs. He had a lot of garlic bread. I want that pin. <laughs> Yes. That is uh, an awesome pin. Uh, go Charizard, go! He also said snake stickers. Ooh. Ooh, from Rain Shadow Coffee Roasting Company. Oh, I wish it was earlier in the day so that we could make a pot yeah. of coffee. We could just film it in the morning, you making coffee and drinking it, and Charles could insert it here. Early the next morning. So we actually found at the bottom of the box, I missed this while we were filming because there were a lot of little candies on top of it, which thank you for those too. But this is an Umbreon mask. Look at that! There was a note that said, I highly recommend you wash this first, so we'll probably just toss it in our washing machine, but I love it, Richard. Thank you so, so much. Also, here's the other pin that the package came with. Fat Mewtwo. Look at that. I giggle every time I see it. He's covered in his own fat rolls. I'm gonna have to find a special place to put that one because Ed has claimed the other one. And finally, the Rain Shadow Coffee. Let's give that a try. I just made a pot of coffee. I think it's still kind of brewing, but... Oh, wow. Whoa. That is actually really good coffee. 
I put like French vanilla creamer in there like I do with all the coffees, but whoa, I approve. Thank you so much, Richard slash Link on Discord. And now we're back. Back in time. Look, it's it's not even open now. Ooh. Crazy. It's like we Whoa. jumped back in time somehow. Crazy. There's a lot of goodies in this box. Oh my gosh, Richard, you didn't have to do this. He sent for you, he said specifically, so I think he's hinting. Bulldog, face wash, moisturizer, and face scrub. I think he's saying to clean right. up your act, Ed. Hey, you well, did shave. I shaved a while ago, but yeah. now it's now the beard's kind of growing back in. But it doesn't understand that guys have to shave more than once every three months. No. Typically. Thank you, Richard, for all of the gifts. And before we wrap up this video with the last package, even though I don't have Pokemon cards set aside for this video, because again we've been really busy and I didn't prepare for that ahead of time, we do have animal pictures or pet pictures from our viewers. Look at all of these beautiful pets that you guys have. The ones that are really catching my eye are that garter snake. That's beautiful. This Congo African gray, which reminds me of the one that I used to have. All of these puppies. And there's some beautiful, oh, look at the budgie. Beautiful ball pythons that really caught my eye here. Those are ivories. Whoa. Yep. Those are gorgeous. As are all of your pets. Okay. Let's open the last package. Unfortunately, Cheyenne got the bib off. So, yeah. but, I, but I just found this from Rita. She made another bib for Cheyenne. A poncho. Okay. That one's coming right off. I you can already so? see it. It's not tight enough. Yep. We'll leave it on her for this last little bit. Thank you, Rita, for yeah. the poncho. I kind of was going through it earlier because we have to figure out what a good last package is. So we went you with cheated? that one. I did. This oh, I cheat all the time. Jocelyn in River F Oh, Black River Falls, Wisconsin. Okay, that's a little bit further away than River bit. Falls. <laughs> but still, really close. Mm -hmm. Oh. Turtles Treat Funds box. Oh my gosh. Oh, and there's a Snakes Treat Funds box. No way. We can use these in like the next episode. Mm -hmm. Thank you for providing people, both reptile owners and non-reptile owners alike, with the information you give in your videos, as well as a sort of entertainment for us. I know that means something to me because I now have a place to go if I ever get a reptile. Also, I have sent some treats for your blue and gold macaw Cheyenne. She is a beauty, as are you. Oh, that's so nice of you. Uh, Jocelyn, I do believe Jocelyn. Even with the plucked feathers, she's beautiful. Aww, Jocelyn! Please use for what you see fit. Ooh, we could put like notes from our facility. Yeah. We could use this at the facility somewhere. Yeah, we'll we'll find uses for these. I'm mm -hmm. sure they'll come in handy at the facility. This is a whole box that says for Cheyenne. I know. I don't know if you've been this good, no. Cheyenne. I, I can tell you she hasn't been that good. Oh my gosh. <gasps> a whole box of Cheyenne treats? Yeah. Oh my goodness. Look at all of these fruit and nut mix. These all look like they don't have sugar or salt added too. Yeah. So she can actually have these. I don't know. Has she ever had a macadamia nut? I think she's had one. Mmm. Macadamia nut. Will you, will you eat that? You have never savored a nut so much before. She's shaving off little yeah. bits at a time. Is that good? Wow. Mm. Holy cow. She is going to love this gift package. Yeah. Wow. Cheyenne, you are... So spoiled. Do yeah. you realize this? Everybody loves you, Cheyenne. Well, I think that about wraps it up today. Yeah. Jocelyn, thank you so much for all of the goodies. Cheyenne, really appreciate that. She's never gotten a box just to herself. No. Before. That's really cool. That was really nice of you. Thank you everyone for your thoughtful gifts. We will, of course, put um, artwork at the end of this episode, just like we always do. And you're, you're all so generous. I don't know. I don't know where we'd be without you guys, honestly. Like, your support has helped us go so far, mm -hmm. including to the point where Ed has now left his full-time job, or by the time this video comes out, Ed will be done, and he will be instead working full-time for Snake Discovery, thanks to your amazing support. Yep. It's a dream come true for us, guys. It is. Now, hopefully, we can get the facility open at a halfway decent time. Mm-hmm. Yep. Which, we're getting closer. We are. We'll have more facility updates coming soon, if they're not out already. Thank you, guys. Thank you to our Patreon backers as well for your incredible support. Again, I don't know where we'd be without all of you. We are so lucky to have you all in our lives. And Cheyenne is too, because she gets special gift yeah, packages She gets a now. whole box of treats to herself. Oh, lucky you. Oh, and now she's going to preen me? No. All right. Thank you, everybody, so much. And let's check out some art. Bye, Cheyenne.